y'all, I've got a problem. I've got a little bit of an addiction that I'm dealing with. And I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but just couldn't get over this fever. I got a fever. And the only prescription is more carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. That's what's my addiction. And guess what? I'm adding more. Our friends over at Mabit came out with this incredible product that I cannot wait to put on the Bronchosaurus. And I'm hoping this is my last piece of CF. It's what we abbreviate in the uh, carbon fiber addiction group that I'm in. That's what we call it, CF. Man, I don't do drugs. What y'all tell them, huh? Come on, you better take all of them. What y'all tell them? Anyway, they came out with this product. Check this out. Are you ready for this? Oh. Look at this. All of its carbon fi fiber glory. <laughs> We're supposed to see that. All right, so this is that insert that's gonna go uh, right where your key ignition is. And there's a really cool thing about this, and you're probably wondering, why is this light here? Are these wires here? Let's go get this thing installed and see if this will Curve my fever. First step is going to be just to pull down this panel underneath the steering wheel. It's just clips, so uh, don't be afraid to put a little bit of muscle into it. Next step is to remove these two seven millimeter screws for the air conditioner panel. One is on the left side underneath that panel we just pulled down. The second one, you need to open up your glove box and you will see that bolt right here. So go ahead and remove that. Next, we're gonna take out the tool kit that came with your Bronco. We're going to remove the ratchet and the T40 bit that you got in your kit. We're going to remove the grip handle that is on the center console. Step four, we're gonna take one of our pry tools. We're gonna to remove the little piece of plastic that's underneath the air conditioning panel. It's just two clips, one on each side. So you just gotta pull those down and then completely remove that. So we're gonna be able to move the air conditioning panel. Once you've removed that trim piece below the air conditioning panel, grip up underneath, it's gonna scare you, but pull on that thing, pull it hard. Uh, it's got those clips on it, it's gonna pull down. Now we'll have access to the pieces that we need. For steps five and six, we're going to be removing three bolts that are underneath the glove box, and then there's gonna be one bolt that is underneath the air conditioner panel, as you see right here. All right, for step eight in the instructions, we're gonna be using our pry tool go around i will say be a little more gentle with this piece than you typically are uh, as i was going i could see the clip pieces and i could see that the plastic uh, where the hole where the clips go in uh, were actually bending a little bit so you don't want to just yank this piece because if you break those holes uh, it's going to make it impossible for the piece to go back in so try to be a little more careful here than you typically are with trip with trim pieces because again, you, you really don't wanna break that off. But uh, if you take your time, it's not a big deal. It's pretty easy, pre pretty quick as you see here. Uh, it does come off pretty easily. Uh, again, just be careful while you're doing that and you should be good to go. For step nine, we're going to disconnect the power cord, the push to start button for your Bronco. Uh, it just clips in there. So this is part's really easy, just pull that out. Once you have that cord disconnected, we are going to remove the button. Uh, just use a pry tool and you'll see there's little clips around the side. And push those in, push the button out, there you go. I wanted to put the two pieces side by side so you could see exactly how well this part is made. I mean, it's it's exact size and shape of the factory one. It looks looks stock, I mean, as you can tell, it's it's really, really well done. Really excited to get this part in, so let's go ahead and get this thing going. Step 10 is just to put the push, push to start button into our new trim piece. As you see, that's done really easily. Just put it in, push it in, 
clicks, snaps in, good to go. Step 11, we're connecting the power cord to the red wire harness, tap a fuse. I absolutely love that they included this part here that I didn't have to go to my local AutoZone or auto parts store and pick up this piece. So go ahead and connect that and move on. Now for step 12, make sure to reconnect your push to start button. Otherwise, nothing in the Bronco will work. Won't even start. Once you have that connected, you're just gonna line up the trim piece in the position to where it goes. Make sure that you're not forcing this in, but but get it lined up and then give it, give it a gentle push and you'll be able to line everything up correctly. For step 13, you're just going to Reassembly all the four bolts you took out, one above the air conditioner panel and three on the trim piece above the glove box, as you see here. Just do it in reverse order. For step 14, we are just going to reassemble the air conditioner panel, pick it up, push in those clips. You're going to put in, make sure you put in the trim piece below it as well. Don't forget about that. Uh, that does cover up that area. Then you are just going to use the two bolts that you disconnected earlier on each side. One right there above the glove box and the other is where that panel is that you pull down in the first step. At 15, we're going to connect our wires. First, we're gonna use the grounding wire. I uh, use this bolt right here. I actually used it for another install as well. It makes a great ground. Then for our power wire, our tap of fuse, we're going to use this 10 amp fuse. It's the second one down on the right. Just gonna disconnect it, plug it in, and you're good to go. And your final steps is just to close up that panel, make sure it all clips in, and then make sure to reconnect your grip handle. And guess what? You're done, quick and easy. All right, you ready to see the startup sequence? Check this out. Pretty sweet how it cycles through the colors, dims out, and then it dim comes back on at the last one that you had set. I like that feature a lot. So obviously you can cycle through. Here's your green, your blue, your pink, your yellow, your purple, your white, and then back to your red. And then it, you don't have to have it on. You can just press and hold the button and it goes off. So if you don't want the light in, bam, you don't have to have it. Looks great. Again, my addiction is has expanded, but I think this might be the last thing. Okay, I lied. There's gonna be two more. Uh, they get the carbon fiber treatment, but this right here, I love this. Uh, the button is flush. You know, it's like a touch button. Um, looks great. Hey, if you found this video informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. There's over 40 videos of different mods and accessories that I've added to the Bronchosaurus. There's more to come. Until next time, catch you on the flip side. Ah. <laughs>